Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I'm going to show you how to create your own logo for free using Photopia. That's right, or Photopia, depending on how you want to pronounce it, or Photopia. I don't know. I don't know what the heck how they pronounce it. Guys, this is a free online photo editor. It's a graphic design tool. It's completely free, and it's pretty amazing. It's like Photoshop, but like a diet version of Photoshop. And what am I talking about? Well, here we go. Here is the original design. So this is the hand-drawn version that I just took this off the internet as an example. So here's a hand-drawn logo. And then here is the finished version. When I turn on all the layers and I turn the bottom layer off, this is the finished version. And it looks pretty much exactly like the original. You'll notice that it does have a little bit of an organic hand-drawn look. It doesn't have the exactly like perfectly symmetrical angles and lines and that's quite on purpose so let's go ahead and start from scratch so I can show you how to do this so I'm gonna delete all the layers and well I can't delete the bottom layer so I'm just gonna delete all the layers except this one alright let's try again come on curtains there we go delete the layers and we're on our way so this is the original background image now the first step and probably the most important one for you guys is getting started out again it's free but you want to start with a logo and you generally want to draw it so either draw it yourself or maybe you got a friend who's a really good drawer or maybe you even purchase it online and you got somebody that you buy it off of fiber or one of those types of places either way start off with a hand-drawn version of your logo like this one and the first step to put it into the finder is you basically just grab the image so I've got it under my teaching folder and I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here and that's what it would show up as so I'm going to delete the top layer presto so we dragged and dropped it in the next step and this is an important one is you want to drop the opacity of your hand-drawn layer from hundred percent to about forty yeah, percent let's go with 40 something like that yeah okay good and the reason why is you want to be able to see it because we're basically going to be tracing over it's kind of like onion skinning we're basically kind of like tracing but we're gonna we want to see it but we don't want it to be too dark so that it, you know interferes with our our next step so here we go the next step is we're gonna create a new layer and you do that by pressing this little dog-eared um, new, new layer button down here it looks like a piece of paper with a folded over ear <laughs> and we're gonna create a new layer the first step we're gonna go ahead and create this top little triangle type hat thing and for this one you basically want to use the pen tool the pen tool is right here you'll see here when I click on it there's a pen there's a free pen and then there's a curvature pen in this case we're just going with the straight pen but do keep in mind there are many types of tools that you can experiment with and use as you see fit I have zoomed in a little bit so I can see what I'm working with a little better here and now I'm gonna draw ahead and start the drawing now but before I do that for this instance, because this does not have a fill, I want this to be empty and I just want it to be strokes on the outside. I'm going to go ahead and when I've got the pen selected, I'm going to click on fill type and I'm going to make sure that the X here is selected, which means no fill. And then the stroke, in this case, we're going to make our logo black, but you can, of course, choose any color you want. And for this individual case, I want to go with a stroke width of about 8.8 .8 pixels. Again, you guys can change that depending, of course, on your own logo. So we're on layer one, we're ready to go, let's start. I'm gonna left click here on one of the corners and I'm just gonna go right corner to corner to corner, very simple, just like that. And when I do that, you'll notice that it closes. Also, you will notice that it does seem to peek out a little further than you might like. And I'll show you how to change that in the last part of the movie or last part of this tutorial if that's something you wanna do. So we create a new layer and layer one is now the top little hat thing. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the bottom. So we're making sure you're selected on layer two, making sure the pens tool selected. We're just going to go quickly do it again. One, two, three, four. Done. Okay. Do you see how easy this is? This is how we start creating a logo. I'm going to do it again. And now I'm going to create the letters. I'm going to create the A. So I'm going to go one. Two. See how I'm doing this, everybody? Beauty. Uh, maybe that's a little wonky position. You can always command or control Z to undo if you don't like the position and something like that you see there we go there's the A and done now I'm going to create a new layer layer 4 and I'm going to create the inside of the A see I still haven't changed the tool and this one has all sorts of wonkiness to it but that's okay that gives it character okay good stuff now we're just going to keep going C C 
But you see how this works, everybody? This is the trick to creating a free logo using Photopea. That's it. Now, I've just started creating layer after layer after layer. Now, I'm going to show you a new technique, not to bore you here. Another thing you can do is you can use these path and direct select tools. Let's go with the direct select tool. And you're going to see now, like if I close, if I click on layer one, layer one is this here, right? It's the top triangle. When I have the path or the direct, direct select tool, you can actually hover over it. And you can now see that I can hover over the points. So if I don't like where that is positioned, like let's say I wanted it to be right out here or in here somewhere because it's not quite where I liked it, you can go ahead and make that change. You can also double click on it and you'll see here when I double clicked on it, it changed the end style. So instead of having that um, hard straight lines, now I've got a nice softer tip here. So if I did something like that, for example, it's a little softer. Let's go ahead and click over here, hover, double click, and it changes it. You see what's happening here? And then I could just move this piece in. And then, no, not like that, but something like that maybe. And then if I click out and I zoom out, you'll see here that it doesn't have the long, um, sharp edges like it does at the bottom here. So these are the types of things that you can adjust as you see fit. Again, yours is different than mine. What your logo looks like and what mine looks like are totally different things. While I have you here, let's just go real quickly here and do the last step. Layer six, real simple. I'm gonna go back to the pen tool, so it's right here. And let's do the M. Bung, bung. And I'm going really quickly through this because I don't want to take too much time. And everybody, this is how you go ahead and create a logo for free using Photopea, using only free software. You now, when you're done it, for example, you can always just go ahead and go, oops. You can click out and then you can go file. And then, of course, you can save it or you can even export it as, in this case, make sure you export it as a PNG because this has background transparency. You would just go, so it would be file, export as PNG, and presto. You see, this is exactly what you would see, just like I thought. And if you don't want the bottom layer to show up, you drop that off, and then you try it again, file, export as PNG, and you see the logo goes through. That's how you create a logo for free using Photopea. Please ask me any questions if you have any concerns. And if there's anything else you want to learn or see, of course, ask me. It's Big C checking out. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.